What's up, YouTube? KS Gun Guy here. Thanks for joining me today, as always. So, in my quest to experience and have a lot of fun with as many firearms as I possibly can and share those experiences with you, another subject that I cover on the channel quite often is concealed carry or EDC. And one thing we all know, there are some other components that go along with concealing a firearm, one of which being, of course, a good quality holster, but another extremely important accessory is the belt that you use. If you don't have a good quality quality belt, not only is the experience not going to be very good, but there's also a potential for malfunction and failure. So um, as you guys may know, if you followed the channel for any length of time, I'm a really big fan of Vetter holsters. I featured them on uh, quite a few videos over time, but Vetter doesn't just make holsters. They also make belts. So that brings us today to today. Uh, I've got the Cobra Quick Release Gun Belt here, and uh, this is a relatively new offering from Vetter, and they offer it in two different colors, black and also coyote brown. Now, Vetter was nice enough to send me this black holster right here uh, to try out and wear, and I've liked it so much that I actually bought this Coyote Brown one. Uh, I wanted to uh, to have a couple of different options in terms of colors, but I was also so impressed with this product uh, that, that I wanted another one. So hopefully that tells you a little bit about the quality of this product and the, and the faith that I have in Vetter holsters. I think they do a really good job. So Vetter, thanks so much for this one, and, and it was a pleasure to uh, buy the Coyote Brown one as well. So a couple of features about uh, these belts. First, they range in sizes from 26 to 46 inches. Now, one of the really nice things about these belts. There's some micro adjusting that can happen. And I'm going to pull this apart. It's going to be a little loud. But you've got some Velcro adjusting here up to, oh, I'd say about five to six inches. So there's uh, certainly the uh, the opportunity and ability to dial this into your specific waist size and also to account for whether you're uh, carrying inside the waistband or outside the waistband. And this belt will do both without a, a problem whatsoever. Another really nice feature of this belt and something that people struggle with quite a bit, especially with these types of buckles, these Cobra buckles and such, uh, they can be pretty big and pretty unwielding, especially when you're trying to get them into belt loops for standard jeans or shorts, which are oftentimes 1.5 or even a little bit less than 1.5 inches wide. So um, it's nice that they've made this uh, this receiving end of the buckle small enough to where it's extremely easy to push through just your normal everyday uh, belt buckles. So a really good uh, really good function and, uh, and feature there for this. And uh, both the components of the buckle are extremely well made. They're very easy to actuate. And I, I found doing this video that uh, it's a little bit more of a struggle on camera because I'm not actually wearing it, uh, but hopefully you can see that it really is very easy. There are just two tabs here, and you depress these, um, squeeze them in a little bit, and it will release the buckle. So um, it really is very easy, especially when you've got it on. Now, one of the things that I look for in a good quality buckle is the rigidity of it. Um, now, I don't like something that's so rigid that there isn't a little bit of flex and a little bit of movement. Um, you know, you're standing, you're sitting, you're moving around. You need your belt to be able to adjust to you a little bit. However, still keep its form and still be able to hold on to items such as firearms or magazines or whatever it happens to be. And uh, this definitely does the job. It's made from dual layer, very good quality, uh, very hefty nylon, and it's got just enough flex uh, without it actually giving. And I'm actually putting a lot of pressure on this belt right now to get it to, to squeeze and collapse in on itself. And it will, it will not do that. That's the best part of this belt. It doesn't collapse, so it's going to definitely hold on to those items uh, that you've got carrying. However, it's going to get just a, just enough of a flex up and down to really uh, mold to your body and stay with you. And that uh, good quality stitching goes all the way around inside and outside. Um, and it's another thing I've noticed. There really is no fraying or anything coming apart. I've worn other nylon belts, and I do prefer nylon. And some of them have been better quality than others. But I notice a lot of them start to really fray and kind of come apart. I usually have to cut little pieces off here and there. That's not the case with the, either of these belts so far, and I've been wearing these uh, every single day for, oh, about two, two and a half months or so, and uh, they really are basically brand new, like they're out of the box, so really good quality, and I'll continue to update, uh, update you guys as time goes on as I continue to wear these, especially uh, carrying, whether inside or outside the waistband. 
Now, a couple of really nice things about Vetter. There is a 30-day money-back guarantee. So for some reason, you don't like it or there's a problem or anything like that, although I don't see that there's going to be. If there, for some reason, is, just get in touch with them and they will definitely work with you. It's another really great thing about them. And it does feature a lifetime warranty. Um, it's one of the cool things about Vetter. And I'm not trying to sell you on Vetter. They don't pay me or anything like that. But I'm a firm believer in good companies to stand by their products. And if for some reason their product fails for any reason, uh, they will cover it. They will take care of you and they are very responsive. So that's that's really meaningful to me. I, I think it's really important. And they are made in the USA. Another really nice thing. I know I feature a lot of uh, foreign firearms uh, here. Well, it's a gun channel. I can't really help that. Uh, however, anytime I can find good accessories that are made uh, right here at home, it's a really nice thing to do. So uh, kudos to veter Veteran. Again, thank you very much for that opportunity. So uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing your comments about these belts, what questions you have, or what experiences you have either with the Vetter belts or any other belts out there. So I always look forward to that. Look forward to hearing from you guys. And otherwise, be sure to check out Vetter. I'll have their link down below. And thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day.